With more than 30 years of experience in the development and production of laser rangefinders, distance meters, and laser scanners, Regal USA has pioneered many different innovations in 3D. What are they working on today? I'm here with Susan Lakari. What are Regal's most successful products right now and why? One of our products that we are extremely excited about is our new VQ820G which is our hydrographic laser scanner. We did a test on this scanner back in February and um, it proved to be more capable than we thought. Um, we were able to fly it at about 10,000 feet. We were able to hit depths underwater of 10 meters and we are extremely excited about having uh, the VQ820G hit our first person in the United States. Another product of ours, the VZ4000, uh, it's an introductory product. We have open pit mining that internationally we are, uh, that's our market that we're going after. And so in Chile and Australia, open pit mining and the VZ4000, it, it's huge. They're clamoring for it. I mean, it's amazing. It's a hot item right now. It goes 4,000 meters. Um, it's a class one laser source, so it's safe. Um, and uh, it has other applications. Uh, you can use it in not only open pit mining, but you can use it in mapping and in civil engineering. Another product that we have is the VMX 450. Uh, that's our mobile laser scanning system. Um, in 2010, we introduced the VMX 250, and it was very successful. And what we've done is uh, we've come out with the VMX 450, which reaches 800 meters and has faster scan speeds. With the uh, mobile system, though, we can use it in infrastructure, highway mapping, city modeling, uh, coastal mapping. What impact do you think UAVs will have on the market? And how is Regal USA preparing for these changes? Well, the Regal Corporation um, is already selling uh, our airborne scanners internationally. So uh, Regal's pretty much already prepared. Uh, we're extremely excited that we will be able to begin selling them soon, hopefully, in the United States. Now, all our airborne scanners can fit on the 50-pound uh, criteria of the UAVs. Uh, so, and we're also hoping that we, you know, getting into the uh, military application market. Okay. Regal USA had a very successful first user conference in the U.S. this year. In June 2013, Regal USA will host another user conference in Vienna, Austria. What developments will users hear about at this event? Well, I'm going to start off first, Alexis, um, talking about the differences between the two conferences. The, our first conference only had mobile and airborne users. This conference will also have terrestrial and industrial users. So we are expecting great synergy and we're also hoping to learn a lot from all our users because there's a lot of them that are in different niche markets. So this is a great uh, corporate learning function for both the users and for the Regal Corporation. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and another thing that I wanted to stress is that we're extremely excited about is that it's in Austria and Vienna is about an hour away from Horn. And that in, in Horn, Austria, is where we have our manufacturing, our research and development, and our corporate offices. So Close to home. Close to home. <laughs> um, some of the developments uh, that will be coming out mm -hmm. in the user conference, I have to keep my lips sealed on that. Um, they will be announced at Energeo in Hanover, Germany in October. So once they are announced, I will have them up live on our websites, in our uh, social media, so Facebook at Regal USA, and Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at Regal USA.